Do you still use one of these beach carts to get to where you want to go surf fishing? Does it frustrate you that you get exhausted by the time you walk the mile or so to get to that ideal spot? Well, there's got to be a better way and I'm going to cover it in this video. While the advantage of one of these big beach carts is you can haul a lot of stuff, how much stuff do you really need? And do you get tired that when you're walking on this with this thing, sometimes your foot catches back here in the back and you end up tripping and falling in the sand? Well, I've got two options that are both better than this piece of junk. Yes, we're talking about bikes and you have two basic choices. You can go full electric and go on an e-bike or you can go traditional on a mountain bike. Now, both of these will carry all the gear you need as long as you have a pair of saddlebags and a milk crate. You pair those saddlebags with a milk crate and you've got all the storage you really need. This just pops on the rear rack. You can fill it up and then off you go. Now, there's one thing about the traditional mountain bike that you need to be aware of. You need to make sure that your mountain bike has tires that are at least two inches wide, otherwise you're gonna sink into the soft sand. Now the great thing about a fat tire e-bike is they come with four inch tires and those will go in many more places than the traditional mountain bike. Now my preferred brand is the Magicycle because it's got a great front rack that I can pile all sorts of stuff on here to pair up with my milk crate in the back. In addition, it's got plenty of torque and range to go where I need it to go. And probably the most critical thing is that it allows me to customize the amount of power associated with each level of pedal assist. And I have up to nine levels that I can customize on this. And what that means is that when I shift into a higher level of assist, I'm not jerk forward going faster than I want to go. Well, let's get this thing out on the beach. It's going to be a great day out here fishing. Let me show you how my bike is rigged up and why I don't need a beach cart. Here's why you don't need a beach cart if you've got an e-bike. The first thing to note is I had to drive two miles all the way from down there to get to this spot. And I've got everything I need to go fishing right here. Let's go ahead and review what I've got. I've got my milk cart. I've got it loaded up with two rods, my rod holders. I'm bringing a third rod today. So I just put some zip ties on here to hold it. And then I've got my saddle bags that have the rest of my gear. And I've got stuff strapped to my front rack. So if you want to get away from all the crowds right around the beach access points and still have all the gear you need to have a great day of surf fishing, well, get an e-bike like my Magicycle Cruiser right here, which has a great battery range, great torque, great speed, and it's going to get me through this soft sand without any problem. Well worth the investment if you want to have a day of solitary surf fishing in that right spot where you can catch that great fish. 